If you want to know what a catastrophe looks like, this is it. This is the aftermath of an explosion in Blast Furnace D at Burns Harbor. Fortunately, no one was hurt. There was a flame coming out about 40 foot and it shot a brick everywhere, all over the furnace and on the uh, stove deck and the gas cleaning and it completely uh, took out the furnace and all the electrical infrastructure along with the uh, hydraulic units that uh, powered the top of the furnace. At first glance, it looked like it might take several months to get the furnace back online. That would have been devastating to production at the plant. But Blake had an idea. He sent out an email and the subject line read, you all are going to think I'm nuts, but hear me out. Uh, we need to try to figure out some way of coming up with a faster recovery, maybe a temporary plan to get the furnace going and then take shorter outages uh, every week or two to uh, put it back permanent. The Burns Harbor team started creating an action plan. Pretty intense plan because we ended up putting in about uh, 10 remote racks um, for PLC racks all over the furnace. Uh, we had to run 75,000 feet of cable. Uh, we had about 35 to 4,000 electrical terminations we had to Im implement. Probably touched 250 to 300 devices out in the field. Uh, we put two temporary hydraulic units up on top of the furnace, one to run our uh, IHI top and then one to run our bleeders. And then we actually put another diesel unit to run our snort. It took countless hours of programming and manual labor to get the job done. And they were removing debris from the explosion the whole time. But instead of taking two to three months to get the furnace running, it took just three weeks. I mean, the majority of the engineering was done in-house. The panel designs were, were done in-house. There was a help with a third-party uh, engineering firm, which was they tremendous for Point Prince, but the whole idea was all done in-house. When it came to commissioning of the stoves, the operators were, were amazing. The stove men, I mean, they, they were dying to get this place going, so they were, they were going bending over backwards and trying to get it going. It, it just, it's just tremendous to see what power by joins in together and gets it going. When we talk about our company values of quality, sustainability, and leadership, we sometimes forget that leadership happens at all levels, from the shop floor on up. The day before the explosion, if you were to say that was going to happen, you're going to bring it back in 22 days and then recover in five, everybody would think you're crazy. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing what, what, I mean, what we're able to do here. And that's how what Blake once called a crazy dream became a reality.